today we're heading up to Savant Lake in Ontario. Uh, we're going to do some bear hunting and hopefully get a couple on film. Uh, we called the outfitter last night and the bears were uh, going crazy on the, on the bait, so we should have a pretty good success rate. Plus we're going to do some walleye fishing. We're going to meet Randy McPherson up there and a couple other guys and hopefully have a good time if we can ever keep our stuff in the truck. Everybody go potty before we go. Yeah. Time to go potty. With my expectations for tonight, I would say right around five bears unless the weather really gets bad on us. So, I, and I mean, it, it not impossible is it that we get all of them. Because right. nobody hunts where you're going to be hunting. Some oddball reason that we should get, you know, separated when we're going up there, which we shouldn't, you know, but maybe the back truck, you know, something will happen. The road don't go any other way, place but to my bait station. Stay on the main road. When you get up there at 76 kilometers, she's going to make a Y. Don't move off that Y. I will be back there to get you. What time is it now? Anybody know? Yeah, yeah it's 20, 20 minutes to 10. Oh, I'll go All right. shoot a little bit. Yep, yeah. yeah, doesn't hurt to do a little shooting. Please. Talking anything about the blueberries? Well, if we don't get a bear, at least we'll have a blueberry documentary. Docu How do you say that? Documentary. What did I say? Documentary. Documentary. They're gonna pull the trucks out of here, and we're gonna go set up over here. And I guess there's been a lot of bear coming in here. There's a lot of bear sign out there. And Hopefully, uh, we'll get a good shot at a, a nice bear
went back and looked at the footage a little bit here in the blind and just as I expected the arrow I hit it a little bit low in the arm but it protruded it looks like up into the heart cavity and I I think we're gonna find a lot of blood out there at least that's what I'm hoping so ready like I said you're going first all of that right there look at all that you get that right there so we're gonna back out get Trudy the guide we're gonna let her go in that hole but with all this blood trailed this bear last night to this point and we didn't want to go into this deep uh, thicket without our guy Trudy and uh, I'd rather have her go into that hole than me so uh, we decided to let it lay all night and hopefully we'll find them. This is where we stopped so yep. there's the hole. Yep. You only going to take that stick in there? This is my bear, bear club. This is all we need. If you did your job. Oh, <laughs> we can edit that part. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we didn't go in here in the dark. Yeah, it was a smart, smart move not to go down to here in the dark. I see black. Oh, wow. I see black. I think we found the bear. No ground shrinkage here, huh? No ground shrinkage there. He's everything he said he was in the video. Oh. Look at that. Woo! All right. Thanks a lot. Yep. We came up here to Savant, Ontario to do a little bear hunting at Inger's Cove. And uh, the first night we sat out, beautiful uh, stand, beautiful area. I could tell there was bears in the area, but the weather really didn't cooperate. So the next day we did, uh, we did something special. We did a little blueberry picking. We noticed that all the bears were eating blueberries. So we picked a lot of blueberries. As you can tell, we made some pancakes and we put some blueberries out there the second night and it was even nicer, it was this mountainside and uh, Trudy told us, our guide, she said, you watch, that bear will come right down that mountain and sure enough it did and, and uh, as we steadied we, we took the shot and we thought it was a marginal shot at first and, and wasn't sure if it was a kill shot but as we looked at the film that night we, uh, we could see the blood was spraying pretty good and, and so when we came back the next morning we tracked him maybe 80 yards up and over the mountain and here's where he laid and uh, first ever bear hunt pretty excited the rage did his job of course Matthews always does its job and uh, I, I'm just blessed to, to be lucky enough to be able to harvest a great animal like this